today we're going to work on the chicken coop some more. We've got a couple of walls done. We've got to do a little bit more. Oh, this is our greenhouse, by the way. We've got some of our plants in there ready to go for uh, our gardens. We've had some pretty cold weather yet, though. We had uh, actually 29 degrees here at the cabin last night. So, and it's May 6th. So we're really probably not going to plant until the second week of May here. Our uh, growing zone is uh, the same here in Tennessee as it was when we lived up in Connecticut. That's kind of amazing, actually. Patty's already up started. She's uh, cleaning up some of the windows. She's got the saw and the table all set up, all ready to go. And uh, we're gonna work on the uh, opening for the chicken door. Uh, we ordered a electronic chicken door that's driven by a solar panel with battery backup. And uh, that's gonna be coming next week. So we gotta reframe the opening. The opening we have is just a little bit too big. So we're gonna work on that today. Great day. Mid 60s, cloudy, partly sunny. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, so what we're doing here is we, we had to take this whole opening <coughs> out. <coughs> Insulation, sorry. <coughs> um, we had to take this opening out and make it smaller. The electronic door that we got from First Ladies is exactly, the opening is 10 and a half wide by 12 inches tall. <coughs> the other opening wasn't the right size. The unit itself is 12 inches wide and Patty's going to check, we think it's around 30. So what we have to do is frame this up, add another frame up here, and another little mini header over here, top ledger board, so that we have enough room to be able to screw it from the outside. The, the unit gets mounted from the outside. There's screw holes that are already pre-drilled, and based upon what we've seen from the specifications, we should be able to drill those holes directly into here and directly into the stud that we have from here, of course, from the outside. And then that will cover the whole opening. And this is a really cool door, which I think we told you guys. Um, it's solar and battery backup. It's set up to open automatically from dawn to dusk. <clears throat> it's got a safety on it so that if, if the chicken is underneath there and it hits it, any obstruction, it stops automatically until the obstruction is cleared. <clears throat> Insulation, sorry. So it's a great door. We'll show you the actual installation when we get ready to do that. Um, and what's nice about it, it's solar powered. We don't have to connect it to electricity. Um, you can also open it manually. You can set it on timers. But uh, we'll do the dawn and dust thing and see how it works. So we'll finish framing this all up. And then we're going to finish off this wall over here. I don't know how much we'll get done today because we already got started a little bit late. Mm -hmm. 